This is Steve Carrington, Palmer Mayor, here to tell you about Celebrate Palmer and Five Days Into the Future. So July 21st, Friday from 3 to 7 is Celebrate Palmer down by the Palmer Depot. Uh, 3 o'clock there should be kids games starting. I've heard uh, there's going to be some face painting, kids games. 4 o'clock they'll start grilling hot dogs for everyone to come and have a hot dog and there should also be some veggies what we can find from uh, our weather hasn't been very cooperative with the farmers but what we can get we will get for free veggies and then at five o'clock we'll be handing out some beautification awards uh, citizen of the year uh, something new I've added is uh, influencer of the year will be down there probably the with the weather looking like it is probably just outside the Palmer Depot no sense being inside if the Sun is out so candidates wanted. Uh, this is the time in July when people can sign up to run for Palmer City Council and that started on Monday and goes through the next week. Uh, you have to pick up a packet, come see the city clerk or go online to palmerak.org and get that information. And that's all coming up for our regular election on October 3rd. There'll be uh, the two council seats will be open and then there's I believe two propositions for people to vote on for the citizens of Palmer. And also to take you five days into the future for our July 25th, 2023 Palmer City Council meeting. And another reminder that we do have an opening on our planning and zoning, our P&Z. Um, if you're interested in that, you can go to palmerak.org uh, and look for the councils and commissions and look up uh, P&Z. And there's an application right online. And you could also look at minutes and see what kind of things they've been working on. And then at the end of the agenda, we have unfinished business where we still haven't um, voted on the resolution about supporting the designation of the Metropolitan Organization, the MPO, as it's called. Um, and by the way, in our city reports, there should be the council asked our attorney, Sarah Heath, if she would research and try to answer specific questions. And so she's done her research. She's put together, I think I counted 59 page reports. That's the bad news. The good news is there's a table of contents to help you get figure out where things are in the report. And that so that's the unfinished business. So this has been Steve Carrington, Palmer Mayor, taking you five days into the future for our July 25th City Council meeting.